let's assume you have a method called get stuff and it can return in any type which is the root of all types in Kotlin for non-nullable types. So if you pass in a one, you get an integer. If you pass in two, you get a string. Three, you get a Boolean value. Four, you get a double and anything else, you get a false. So sometimes we need to perform various different casting. Uh, we need to cast it to a particular value. So I'm gonna create a new variable called casted. And what I'm gonna do is say obj as int. And so what I wanna do is I wanna get this, I wanna cast this value that I get back to an integer. And so when I try to do this, I'm gonna run this, and what we're going to see is we're gonna get an exception. And the exception is a class cast exception, basically stating you can't cast a, uh, basically a string cannot be cast you know, to an integer. And that's because the value we got back from get stuff, we passed a two in, two came in, executed this line of code, we returned the, the value of obj was hello, and we're trying to cast a string as an integer, and Java says, nope, no dice, that can't happen. So we got a class cast exception. So how can we solve this? So we can't cast it this way. Um, so what we could do is we could do some type checking. We could do uh, if object, and we change this to as is int, we could get back the obj, uh, else maybe we wanna return uh, to you know zero, uh, that that would work. We could run this, and and this would work accordingly. We'd get back zero because object is is not an integer. Uh, if it was, so if we came back here and we change this to a one, which again would return us back in any value of one, we'd get back uh, the one there. And actually, let's go ahead and change this to just so it makes more sense. Let's change it to ninety nine. And so when we pass in one for the value of the get stuff method, we'll get back ninety nine, which executes this line right here. And since it is because an integer, we got this back. That makes sense. However, there's also another way that we can do this as well. Perhaps we're okay with working with some nullable types. One thing we can do is we can cast it and do a safe cast. And what that safe cast is, it hit as an integer. And what this basically says is, hey, um, I would like you to, so I'm gonna change this to two. Uh, we'll done in a second, we'll do that. I would like you to try to cast this object right here, this object, as an integer. And so when this piece of code executes, if it can execute it as, and it can do it, it'll return the integer, otherwise it'll return a nullable type. So if we were to run this right now, we're gonna get back 99, that makes sense. Because if we pass in one, we get back 99. So let me change this to two, which is gonna give me back a string. Now if I run this, what we're gonna get back is null. And the reason for that is because this line, this line of code right here, that executed said, hey, this object is actually null. And so the smart cast said, hey, I recognize that was null, so I'm just gonna go ahead and give you back a null value. And at that point in time, we can continue on and our application didn't crash. And that's how you can use a smart cast. So this could be uh, anything for, you know, Boolean. Can I pass that to a Boolean? And if we run that, is that gonna work? Let's see, no, that's null as well. It's not true or false, so we can't do that. So anytime you need to cast something and be safe about it with a nullable type, you can use a smart cast, which is the word as, with a question mark after it.